it's Live Free Miranda, and today I'm excited to show you a little tour of our new house in Richmond, Virginia. When we moved to Austin four years ago, we thought we were going to be there for a long time. Life is crazy, right? It throws you all sorts of changes. So we settled on a big piece of property just outside of Austin in the, a beautiful suburban neighborhood, and we designed and built this home that we have lived in and loved so much and we are a little bit sad to leave it and we've also been surprised with how excited we are about the possibilities that come with moving and the opportunities that come when you're making a big change so rather than jumping into another big beautiful home we decided that we would try out an experiment with a smaller house we've lived in small spaces before we've lived in apartments actually our home in austin was the first time we'd ever lived in a bigger space and so we know that we can do it However, this time around we have three children and a dog, so it's a little bit different. So we're gonna pack our family of five into a thousand square foot rental home for the next year and really try out some experiments with living in a smaller space, with how to fit us all into two bedrooms and one bathroom, how we're going to still do the things that we love and entertain and um, make friends and decorate the space beautifully in just a little less space with a lot less stuff. When we were in Richmond about a month ago, I pulled out my iPhone right after we signed the lease on this, in, on this little space and I took a quick video tour. So that's what I wanna show you now. You're gonna have to forgive the audio and visual quality. It's a fun way to just get a raw look at the space and then over the next several months as we're moving in and decorating and making choices of how we're gonna make this all work in this small space, I'm gonna update here and share some more videos. So this is kind of step one in a series of making this smaller space work for our family. So enjoy. I'm in Richmond, Virginia, and we just signed a lease on this tiny cute little house right here. So I wanna go give you a tour. Um, it's totally empty and we don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it. It's 1,025 square feet, uh, less than half of what we've been living in as a family of five, but I'm super excited. I know that we can make it work, so I just wanna give a little raw tour of the space and some ideas of what we're gonna do with it. Come along. Okay, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in here, but it's actually a really cute space, so. In the front door, that's gonna be the main, the main room. And I see our couch and a toffee table. We'll put the TV and console over there. We can get the piano in over there. And it's just a keyboard. And then a little entry and drop zone right here by the front door. So that's the plan for in here. We'll do this one little um, doorway here, we get to the bedrooms. There's two bedrooms in this house. So this one is the, is the little bigger one. We'll use this as the master. And I think all that we're gonna have space for is a bed and some bedside tables in here. A nice size closet for the hanging things and maybe we'll be able to fit some, a dresser, hi fun, or some dressers right here. Looks like there's a linen closet. That'll be crucial storage. And then this is the, the little second bedroom. So three kids in this room. I don't know what we're going to do, but I think we can do a, somehow do a funky triple bunk bed right here. That's all that we'll have space for as far as beds. And then maybe be able to put a bookshelf or a toy shelf over here on this wall. And they also have a nice sized closet. Just one little tiny bathroom. So um, tub and shower, little sink and toilet. We have never all shared a bathroom before. We've always, our whole life at least had two, so we'll figure it out. I don't know what this is, but we'll have to cover it with some sort of rug. And then in here we have the, the eat-in kitchen. We have um, room for a table here. Shelving here is open. We'll just have to figure out what to do. We'll probably bring our own refrigerator, replace this one with something a little bit nicer. And then there's a space right in here for the washer dryer with some shelving above it. That goes right back into the main room there. I don't know what this is. I keep wondering if it's a dishwasher, but I have no idea what that thing is. A sink with the cute little window. There's our stove top. I like the backsplash. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Faux brick, probably. But it's kind of a cute little rustic looking backsplash. 
So the kitchen actually has plenty of space. This one little opening makes it feel a little bit more open into the, the second little living area back here. The fireplace is, is super cute. Um, let's see, that's real brick. Just enough space back here. It's actually an okay sized room. This is just enough space. Um, we'll be able to fit a couch in here, maybe a tall bookshelf or some storage. This will also be the guest room when people come visit, which we hope they do. Um, our, we have one couch that turns into a bed, so this will be a perfect place for that. And yeah, I really like the fireplace, it's pretty cute. It has actually a great sized yard. So back here into the backyard, and we've got, <laughs> we've got some space to hang up my um, projects after I dye them. Really, really big trees back here. Virginia's great for the trees. And there's space for a garden, and there's a big shed back there, but um, last time we tried it, it didn't work very well. The shed so far doesn't open. Why we'll have to we try that a different it? time. I think that there's um, some potential here. Okay, really, really cute yellow house. We are ready to make you a home. So what do you think? It's so cute, right? It's a great blank slate to start with as we move into a new stage for our family, downsizing to a little bit smaller space, but it has such good bones and such potential, and that's what we're looking for. So if you're new around here, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss anything as we share our tips and tricks, things we learn along the way, downsizing into this smaller home and making it work for our family. Um, I'm sure that we're gonna learn a lot and I'm excited to share a lot of that with you as well. So we'll be here every Wednesday. We hope that you'll join us. Have a nice one. There's some really fun architectural details like, look, there's a beam. People are like paying big bucks to get beams in their houses these days and we've got one. We've got a beam in this rental. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It's styrofoam, but it's a beam. <laughs>